This video is about how to configure Commando Air 1 CP 10K plus outdoor bridge with speed up to 900 Mbps. This bridge is having uh, 1G separate LAN and WAN ports with IP65 waterproof and dust proof enclosure casing. It also comes with dual power uh, supply option with non-standard PoE with 24 volt 1 ampere and DC power input 12 volt and 1 ampere. It has five modes of operation like gateway, super WDS, waste, repeater and AP mode. And this uh, super WDS mode can act as a AP plus gateway plus mesh plus repeater plus bridge all in one time. Maximum four bridges can be connected to have multi-point to multi-point connection with this bridge. Any uh, device in this CP10K can act as a master as well as slave with uh, super WDS meshing uh, bridge network uh, will have zero failure rates it operates and complies with IEEE 802.11 AC AN and A standard along with built in MIMO high gain 18 dBi internal panel antenna all bridges support HiMax TDMA technology which use polling technique to solve hidden node and resource waste problem between CP and the base station. It has low latency and high throughput and works with the beam forming technology up to the range of 10 kilometers with uh, 500 milliwatt input power supply that which is 27 dBm. Uh, it intelligently adjusts compatibility and optimal performance by dynamic frequency selection and you can set channel bandwidth to 20, 40 and 80 megahertz and it also has the inbuilt Wi-Fi analysis. So how to set the bridge? If you don't want to take any access just by pressing buttons, how to set the bridge? So it is having three buttons on it, H, C and F apart from the reset button. So how to use that? So to configure as a master, press edge button for that CP and C button for other CP in the pair. Press edge F button to change from H to C and S to change to H. It will uh, save uh, it automatically and the bridge will be formed between these devices. H means host or master. Uh, the LED is, will means the channel. C means client. And LED in the client means the slave channel. Both master and slave uses the same channel. So how to take the access of Air1 CP 10K with the help of LAN connectivity. So for wired access or with the LAN port, connect the PC, power on the Air1 CP 10K with the help of adapter, 12 volt 1 ampere or 24 volt PoE adapter in WAN port which is coming along with this device. Connect the LAN port of the Air1 CP 10K to PC via RJ45 cable. Open the network sharing center. So this way. Ethernet option change these properties IP address to the manual IP address and give the IP address 192.168.188 from 1 to 252. So I use 10 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway 192.168.188.253. In newer commando firmware, this IP address of default gateway is changed to 192.168.2.1 and IP address can be from 2.2 .2 to 2 254, 192.168.2.2 to 2.254, any of the IP address. So after giving this IP address, just Go to any of the web browser and type 192.168.188.253. So 
so after uh, getting you will get the login page default password is admin and in newer firmware default password is commando both are in small letters so this way you will get the access via lan ports you can also get the access via uh, ssids or the default wifi which is been there this device can act simultaneously uh, as a bridge as well as as a ap so you can see this default ssid is there the default password for this is 6 times 10 10 times 6 you type and you will get 6 uh, times 10 uh, times 6 you type and you will get the access of this commando air cp 10k here you change and edit the automatic dscp option to manual and give the ip address 192.168.188.1 and 2252 any of the ip address will do prefix length will be 24 and gateway will be 192.168.188.253 so after saving this you can access this device without connecting the lan connection so now this device is connected so password by default is admin for older versions so you are getting the access of this device now so one via lan one wirelessly also you are getting the access and the speeds so on the home page the mode of operation is shown default mode of operation for this is ap mode and the way it is connected to bridge is connected to wireless this is our bridge and this is connected to the wireless devices the wan is connected to the internet gateway router and you can also see the device information where cpu memory usage you can give the name like commando commando bridge or whatever name you want to give by default the lan ip is uh, 192.168.188.253 this can be changed as per the user choice uh, you can also uh, see the ssid is default available with the device channel which is used encryption and the uh, uh, 5g uh, wifi upstream ap upstream and downstream after clicking the wizard mode you can see there are five modes available in this uh, ap the current mode is ap mode so this can act as a ap so let us say i want to uh, go for the ap mode i can get the ip address statically from ac or from gateway i can change the lan ip this is the same lan ip used for access of the device newer firmware will have this lan ip 192.168.2.1 i can change the dns ip addresses as per choice let us say i want this ssid to be changed to cmd 5g i can i want channel width to be 80 and this channel i want auto i want encryption and the password is commando at the rate 123 and i don't want any timing to be off for this device so after uh, setting this and giving the password admin to access this device you can see now the uh, wifi name which uh, we are having now cmd 5g is available with the password commando at the rate 123 so in the ap mode it is acting as a ap then other mode is wisp mode this is a very important mode where you don't have need to connect anything to this device no lan no wan connectivity nothing like that just power on it scan the wireless network which you know or available and in the range with this uh, device 
so it will wirelessly connect to the this device let us say i want to connect to the itm 5g uh, wifi ssid the password will be for that commando at the rate networks with bandwidth 80 next let us uh, get the ip address and all from dscp way i want to continue with the same ssid because it will acts as a bridge as well as ap at the same time i don't want any timing to be on and this is real time i am configuring so it will take some time for rebooting and setting the mode to the vis mode so in vis mode device uh, will wirelessly connect to uh, the available uh, network isp network or whatever network you want to connect and also it can connect wirelessly to the wireless client so uh, this device is connecting to the isp station as well as the acts as a wireless host for and uh, it can also get wirelessly connect to all the users which you want to connect to this device so i will show you so now device will be re rebooting this is a, a live environment i am configuring so it will take some time for setting that so after getting this device reboot for around one and uh, one minute it will it will be coming active now it has come live again and now the mode of operation is wisp mode default mode will be ap mode but we have changed the mode that's why device rebooted and we have to wait till the device get available for our access so it has come live it will give us access via LAN also. Yes, now it has come live. So now the mode of operation is wish mode. You can see this uh, PC is connected to this device and the online user count is one. So we have set this IP address, name of the bridge and this is the way. This is the way the my PCs are connected to the bridge and the bridge is wirelessly connected to internet. So this is my PC is connected and I have selected the internet mode DSCP and these are the IP address, the signal strength and everything is shown. Now it is properly connected to this ITM cabin 5G and this will be propagated to 10 kilometers by this bridge this internet which I am getting from this ITM cabin 5G SSID. So anywhere you can place this device on the rooftop and that automatically will get connected to the ISP SSID or the Wi-Fi ID which you set and it also can give uh, the PCs or the laptops, the wireless connectivity from that location because it's a very powerful device. Apart from that, it can connect to the other bridge and can extend this network to other side, multi point to multi point. So this way this operates. Then repeater mode. Same, uh, let us say I want to scan with the same, same things. So I'm changing the mode to the repeater mode in repeater mode uh, is used to extend the range of wireless coverage of existing Wi-Fi network. This mode is suitable when you are in Wi-Fi dead zone or a place with a weak wireless signal and you want to have the larger effective range of the wireless signal throughout your home office or outdoor premises. So this is a very uh, uh, important WDS mode. 
in this device will say it takes some time because we I am doing it on live devices it is not a dummy or something so it will take time to change mode from one mode to another mode it takes around one minute so after getting it on we can able to connect to this uh, repeater mode based uh, CP 10k plus of commando so it is not still it is still rebooting so it will take some time and meanwhile we will discuss about uh, the gateway mode which is also uh, like all ethernets are bridged together and the wireless client will connect to ISP access point or router directly to the which is connected directly to the WAN port via copper cabling so I will put the password admin and now this is a repeater mode based uh, commando bridge I will connect one of the user and this will come tick mark will be like coming after having a proper connection to this repeater SSID so now this uh, one device is connected so it will come live uh, because I am doing it uh, yeah it has started uh, base SSID has been locked and now with the channel number 56 we are able to have this uh, repeater configured and channel number 132 for our bridge so this way th it works in the repeater mode similarly gateway mode we can take the DSCP from the gateway we can change the SSIDs we can change the channel width I want this uh, channel auto or I can set this channel whatever is available let us say channel number 60 I want password I can also change and I want this password now uh, for every change in mode device will reboot so in gateway mode all the ethernets uh, are connected like uh, WAN is connected to another ISP connect or the switch or the router via RJ45 cabling as well as uh, LAN is connected to uh, some users via switch or router if uh, that is not the case you can also wirelessly connected with the Wi-Fi SSID which you have created so it will take some time because we are lively doing with the device the most important mode in this device is super WDS mode so WDS uh, is a system that enables the wireless interconnections of access point in an IEEE 802.11 AC A or AN network it allows the wireless network to expand using multiple access point without the need of wire backbone to the to link them as traditionally required in commando super WDS mode device can act as a bridge as well as AP as well as mesh all simultaneously and can connect other multiple bridges or multiple APs so we have login via gateway mode so I am connected via the gateway mode and I am getting this IP address of my gateway with DNS and now I can able to get the internet also with this so I am connecting this CMD 5G SSID which I have created here and getting one user to connect so you can see that now I am getting internet also via this so the main mode of this uh, device so this is a way I am connected LAN to this device WAN to this device and other port I have connected to WAN to the internet and LAN to this device and this way these modes operate the most important mode is a super WDS mode so I can scan the SSID and I can connect that to that SSID like in repeater or WISP mode 
and i am connect i can connect to multiple ssids also with the password commando at the rate networks i can connect to other pair also i can change this ssid name to cmd let us say dash 1 open next i can set any of the ssid and can connect to another bridges like from get the ip from ac gscp or ip from the gateway i don't want any timing for this so i can change this mode to super wds mode next is uh, how to set the wifi for uh, 5.8g channel so i can have the i can do the wifi analysis for this i can set the ssid as per my choice let us say cmd 5g i want to change i can change the channel width i can change the channel let us say i want 120 i can do go for encryptions and the wifi password i can maxi uh, and apply and this cmd 5g will be available like that i can also have the multiple ssids with this device so with wap 1 wap 2 wap 3 enabled i can have the multiple ssids so i want this uh, as cmd 5g uh, dash 2 or any ssid name encryption i want and password i want commando at the rate 1 to 3 apply so now we can get this uh, cmd dash 1 which we have created and we can connect the users to this uh, ssid it's a real time so it will take some time to get it activated oh i have not done it cmd dash 1 encryption password command at the rate 1 to 3 apply so we will get that ssid yeah now i got it and the password so multiple ssids can be created for wap 2 we can have this for wap 3 we can have this we have to apply for each and everything and we will go get those ssid activated and give that password so maximum four ssids can be created with the help of uh, these devices we can also set the mac acls which will can allow and prohibit wireless client based on the mac address so we can scan the mac address we can give the mac address uh, which we know to give the access of this device and we can prohibit or allow some users or we will uh, disallow some users uh, or allow a particular user only we can do that with the help of mag acls in this device so you can scan the ssids or you can manually feed the ssids and that ssid is uh, after creating the ssid you have to apply it allow or prohibit if you allow then uh, if you select this option then only that will be allowed if you prohibit this this will be allowed you have to apply after uh, having this rule then only it will be activated wifi timer is a very important tool let us say from morning 9 to evening 6 i want this connection to be activated uh, wifi to be activated other time no activation so for other time it will be 
totally off so this added uh, security has been added to this device then in advanced setting we can set the country region we can set the 5g mode a an and ac we can have this multicast fast option maximum user for per ap we can set then we can also set the wlan partition gi coverage threshold we can have up to 95 dbm tx power max by default and you can change according to dynamic frequency selection on and off and the 5g distance you can set the distance as per your choice let us say i want to set it to the 10 km so accordingly it will uh, we can set this distance also this is a very important parameter for setting this bridge then in network tab you can set the lan setting so this is a ip address for access of this device this spanning tree is by default activated so that the loop formation should be avoided if i connect this a bridge to a slave bridge and the slave bridge to the c bridge and that c is connected to a the loop will be formed to avoid that spanning tree protocol is by default activated you can also have the dscp server you can see who is using this dscp servers you can also make the static binding for this dscp you have to scan and save and apply this way it will do so this is binded now in wan settings you can set the wan connection method mtu dns manually along with primary and secondary so dscp setting ppoe static ip you can set the dns you can upstream and downstream kbps also you can set in this wan setting in advanced wan setting you can enable the web server access on wan ports from 1 to 65535 it can set the mac clone enable or disable ping access on wan enable or disable ip sets pp tp l2tp pass through through the vpn connection in cloud server settings uh, this device is not cloud based so no settings are uh, eligible for this tab you can also url ma mapping work for new installation portal installation url mapping redirect to the particular websites so you can add those urls name you can give the ip address you can give the domain name and can save that then in security you can have the url filter so we can add the rule let us say one url name commando network and save so i have connected this device via uh this ssid having the internet so commando networks.com is now accessible via that ssid so i am able to access uh, this uh, commando website via this uh, ssid if i block that if i enable url uh, function and apply it and again try to get the access of this uh, commando website then it is not possible to get the access of this website now because we have blocked in this any website that website access will not be available and your device cannot able to go to this uh, commando website anymore so i will delete this so that i can get the access of this uh, and disable this function so i can get the access of this website via this uh, ssid cmd 5g dash 1 next function is ip filter i can add the ip address or ip pool addresses by any of the rule name or the custom name let us say i want this ip address to be barred with the port range uh, from 1 to 1025 mark as a 
deny i don't want this ip address this range of ip address let's say 239 this two ip address i don't want it this two ip address i don't want it for accessing my network so i i have to go for allow pass through or prohibit so i want to prohibit and then apply so this will not be allowed to have any access in this network similarly i can also have the mac filters with the rule name and the mac i address and we can save this we have to prohibit this then we have to use if i use allow means that only will be allowed all other connections are dropped so use it carefully then security i can add the security settings like for particular tcp or udp protocol for selected wireless uh, client ip or port mapping function so i can set the rule name lan ip i can also scan the ips whichever uh, whichever are available i can use the port name internal or external port numbers and i can create this and i can have the enable port mapping and apply so this will be applied i if you don't want you just delete it then dmz i can have the dmz settings so that uh, the host ip to provide internal network with additional security i can also set the dmz host also and can apply this so i i have to have dmz host let us say 192 168 188 238 so this can be applied then in manager setting tab we can take the backup just by clicking the button we can restore this backup by choosing that config dot 3 and we can restore the backup of this we can reset to factory default settings we can reboot the device instantly or time reboot can be set for the device for every day for uh, let us say at 6 o'clock in the morning i want to time and also i can set the restart interval also we can modify the password by default password is admin in small letters which can be changed to new password this is used for accessing the device newer versions is having password commando by default we can form upgrade the firmware we can have the uh, time from various sources so you can see i am taking the time from this uh, ntp servers by default this is connected to internet so it is getting this time from live time from that uh, ntp source with the time zone set like this we by default uh, logs are on we can make it off we can make it on and can see the things happening in the device we can also send the log to the remote log server we can also set the flow control mechanism so with this flow control uh, which enables us uh, to optimize the bandwidth and improve the network experience for the importer application or for important user let us say this user these both users uh, are very important i want to have the maximum uplink and downlink speed and i want speed setting for this user so i can just clicking and enable qsing and applying that speed will be allowed for particular user so i can restrict the bandwidth also with the help of this cp 10k apart from that i can have the group created for a particular range of ip addresses and that group name can be used anywhere inside other things i can also have the time group so commando time i can set for let us say from 4 to 12 every day or weekly i can mark it deny save so this time can be used i can also have the ddns functions which provide the fixed domain names for ddns clients and maps its latest ip address to the this domain name so apart from connecting to the 10 km from a end to b end 
it also has the ap function repeater function gateway function this function and moreover it is also having the super wds function all at the same time function which can able to connect to multi point to multi point thank you